Hello students, let us discuss our today topic is Deficiency Symptoms of Essential Elements. We have already discussed in our previous video about role of essential elements and today deficiency symptoms and also toxicity of essential elements. When essential element is deficient when it is deficient so it means when it is present below the critical concentration then that essential element called as deficient when essential element is present more than critical concentration level then that is called toxic that essential element leads to toxic when it is present below the critical concentration it causes deficiency symptoms when that element is present more than critical concentration then that leads to toxic to that plant right so critical concentration below the critical concentration that element uh, shows a deficiency symptoms in plants and when that is essential element present more than critical concentration level then that element leads to toxic in that plants right so essential element present below the critical concentration is called toxic right so deficiency symptoms are depends on mobility of that essential element so when deficiency symptoms are appear it means that it depends on mobility of that essential element it means in essential elements some are mobility and some are not shows uh, mobility it means some are mobile and in some are uh, immobile so mobile elements are mobile elements are nitrogen potassium magnesium nitrogen potassium magnesium these three are mobile essential elements nitrogen potassium magnesium so when these essential elements are mobile it shows mobility from senescent organs to younger tissues these essential elements are mobile transfer from senescent organs to younger tissues so that so that deficiency symptoms are first appear in senescent organs so deficiency symptoms appear first in senescent organs sentiments are senescent leaves why because in that senescent organs there is no these essential elements because these are mobile they are transferred from senescent organs to younger plant parts so that these mobile elements deficiency symptoms are appear first in senescent leaves and some essential elements are immobile it means it cannot move from one place to another place those are called immobile essential elements example is sulfur and calcium sulfur and calcium why because these sulfur and calcium these two are structural elements sulfur and calcium are structural elements so that they cannot move from young uh, senescent tissues to young tissues they cannot move towards young tissues so that its symptoms deficiency symptoms are first appear in young tissues right deficiency symptoms appear first in young tissues right let us discuss about some diseases chlorosis chlorosis means loss of chlorophyll pigment chlorosis means loss of chlorophyll pigment it leads to yellowish color right when loss of chlorophyll pigments the color convert into green to yellowish color that is called as chlorosis this chlorosis causes the deficiency symptoms of nitrogen deficiency symptoms of potassium deficiency symptoms of magnesium deficiency symptoms of sulfur and also deficiency symptoms of iron manganese zinc molybdenum in these elements nitrogen potassium magnesium sulfur are macro elements and iron manganese zinc molybdenum these are micro elements these are macro elements and these are micro elements so chlorosis is occur deficiency symptoms of nitrogen 
potassium, magnesium, sulfur, iron, manganese, zinc and molybdenum. So for, for neat point of view or any other competitive exams, we have to remember what are the macro elements and what are the micro elements which leads to chlorosis, which leads to chlorosis. And necrosis, necrosis means death of tissues, death of tissues especially in leaves, death of tissues especially leaves called as necrosis, right, necrosis is caused, caused by the deficiency symptoms of uh, calcium, deficiency of calcium, magnesium, deficiency of potassium and deficiency of copper. Right? Calcium, Magnesium, Potassium, Copper. In these, Copper, Magnesium, Potassium are macro elements and Copper is micro elements. Right? Right. Remember, these points are so big because in neat point of view, these are, are any other competitive exams. These are very important. Calcium, Magnesium, Potassium are Macro elements and copper is micro elements which leads to chlorosis. Uh, sorry, necrosis. Necrosis means death of tissues. Right. And then third one, inhibition of cell division. Inhibition of cell division. It is caused by the deficiency of nitrogen, deficiency of potassium, deficiency of molybdenum. So nitrogen, potassium, sulfur, molybdenum. Deficiency of these elements, it leads to inhibition of cell division and next one delay of flowering delay of flowering right so because the caused by the deficiency of nitrogen deficiency of sulfur deficiency of molybdenum it leads to delay of flowering right and also some disease also uh, present here right motility leaf motility leaf motility leaf caused by the deficiency of Zinc deficiency of zinc deficiency of zinc caused by motility leaf. Motility leaf means partial chlorosis. Motility leaf means partial chlorosis caused by the deficiency of zinc. Right? And then second one dieback. Dieback in citrus. Dieback appear in citrus plants because of the deficiency of copper. Dieback copper. So dieback means death of branches. When copper deficiency is present in plants, then the branches leads to death. So that is the death of branches. That is called dieback in plants, like a citrus, caused by the deficiency of copper. And then third one, hot rot. Hot rot appear in beetroots. Beetroots, beta vulgaris because of the deficiency of boron because of the deficiency of boron right so hot rot means dark brown spots present on fleshy roots because uh, beetroot beta vulgaris it shows storage roots storage roots it is present in nappy form so on that roots brownish or dark brown spots are present or appear on roots that brown spots are called as hot rot in beetroots leads to the deficiency of boron and whiptail whiptail in cauliflower whiptail in cauliflower causes the deficiency of molybdenum whiptail caused by the deficiency of molybdenum so whiptail means chlorosis and leaf turn white color leaf turn white color and also leaf margins not develop properly it means leaf margins are shows curling it shows a curling right towards the inside towards the inside leaf margin shows curling it means do not develop leaf margins are not developed properly that is caused by the deficiency of deficiency of molybdenum in cauliflower right that is called whip tail and then bronzing in legumes bronzing in legume plants fibrosive plants because of the deficiency of chlorine bronzing leads to the deficiency of chlorine it appears in the deficiency of chlorine 
and the bronzing means upper leaf surfaces convert into reddish brown upper leaf surfaces convert into reddish brown it means that is caused by the deficiency of chlorine reddish brown color that is called bronzing in legume plants and finally mouse ear mouse ear in pecan plants mouse ear in pecan plant that is because of the deficiency of nickel deficiency of nickel nickel is the 17th essential element right so mouse ear means leaf let's convert into round color surrounded leaflets that that means it is a mouse ear a disease in pecan plants so this is about deficiency symptoms of essential elements deficiency symptoms of essential elements right